So tell me about your outfit. Is this what you would wear to your wedding? I'd like to be like this at my wedding. Yeah, something like this. Maybe I'll call. Maybe I'll call Rita and say, "Hello, gorgeous. Thank you for making me look so beautiful every single time." But yet again, this time it's my wedding. And what would your dream bride be dressed in? What colors? There were a lot of colors in her show today. I love, I love uh, a woman to be seen in red and gold. I think red and gold, yellows. I think for weddings, beautiful. Wow, just brings it, brings everything out. You know what I mean? The animal, they're just, just, just so beautiful. Animal. You know, it's one of the most beautiful creatures this planet has. After dogs, but. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, but, yeah, no, uh, yeah, jokes apart, I think, uh, yeah, I think a wedding should be all about the woman, yeah, definitely. More than, more than a man, a wedding should be all about the woman, about how she looks and dresses and how beautiful she looks. I think it's always been like that, I think, in the Indian tradition. So, yeah. Thanks so Sally, much. Women, women, Sally. Yeah, Tell me about your show. How do you feel? How are you? It's all over. How are you? Good to see you. Good guys. to see you. you. Beautiful show. Beautiful Thank colors. You. How did you choose your color? Choose your color this palette? is called Chattapati. It's a traditional thing from uh, um, wherever. It's a patchwork technique of India. It's in Gujarat. It's in Rajasthan. So I tried to do a bit of like you know neckline. You have kharchov and all that. That's all mirror work. So that's the patchwork design. We've used a traditional motive for him. So we did a bit of that, and lots of Mukesh, Kamdani. Hey, I'm Sophie, and you're watching thismalini.com. What's up? You look amazing. Thank like a bride. Do you feel yeah. like a bride today? I feel like a very uh, modern, slightly nungu bride. And that's Rina's style. Uh, she loves doing stuff like that. I think when I become a bride, I'd like to be absolutely traditional, as traditional as they come. But this is beautiful. I mean, I walked on the ramp, and as soon as I came out, there was just a bunch of size, which I think is a good thing. Uh, and just the styling of it is really pretty, it's different. The mixture of old and new, um, a lot of the humor we've created. So just some nice elements that I really like. I, I remember I overheard on, uh, off the runway, this is, is this Desi or Racy Bride like you said. Oh, really? <laughs> but I think the jewelry looks amazing on you. And what were you, th were you, what were you thinking about? How are you channeling the slightly Racy Desi Bride? No, I don't think I want you to channel. I just want you to keep it soft because I think the outfit was doing so much that I didn't want to be like, because that's just overkill. Um, I think I don't have to try very too hard to, to bring out a sexy body language. It's something that's part of me. So I think when you try too hard and it's fake, it looks tacky. And I never want to do that. So I just have to close to the talking and I just get to the talk. And of course, a lot of your fans tweeted in and they said, you know, Sophie sings so well and she dances so beautifully. At her own wedding, if she were to do like a delicate dance number, which one would it be? What song would you choose? Oh my god, that's a really difficult one. Oh, I'm going to have to think about that. Um, Thady Ode is a favorite for everyone. Everyone. But I guess it depends on my partner and what he brings out on me. I mean, maybe he doesn't bring out the soft romantic in me at all. Maybe he's just crazy fun. It all depends on him.